Next speaker I'm excited to uh, welcome to the stage screen is a guy that I've known for the longest of anybody that's coming on this panel today. I've actually known this person about like 30, man, like 33 years or something like that, 34 years, close to. And um, today he works with dozens of lenders all across the country, helping lenders to grow their business, to generate more leads, to have more conversions, um, increase their referral partners. And he has a team that actually does the work behind the scenes. So it's not, you know, where you have to learn and do it yourself. He actually does that work uh, within, within his agency. Um, he's also one of the um, co-founders of KLT CRM, um, which is the know, like, and trust CRM, the world's simplest CRM for loan officers, um, which is, you know, primarily a lead, lead conversion tool. And if you can help me welcome to the stage screen, Mr. Brian Carpenter. Oh man. On, on. Awesome. That was a great intro. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. No doubt. Thanks for, for being sure. here today. Yeah. I mean, it's awesome. Like, thanks so much for inviting me, you know, super humbled to, to be invited on this epic panel. I mean, it's been crazy. The past, yesterday, all the speakers are amazing. Today has been awesome. Following up Eric is going to be super tough. Right. Um, but it's always a fun challenge, right. To, you know, how do you provide as much value as everyone else and, and super excited to share what I'm going to talk about today. And, and I just want to give you a shout out and appreciate you for, for putting this together, obviously, right? Like, you know, Eric kind of touched on, it did take a lot of time and work and, you know, getting, getting such a great group of people on is super appreciated for you. And, and the group exploded, right? we got, I think 850 people in the group. There's 150 people watching live right now. So it's turned out to be an awesome event. Super excited to see the rest of the speakers today too. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. I'm glad you're here. For sure. Um, so I'll, I'll share my screen and kind of talk about what, um, what I'm going to work on today, which is, you know, text messages that always convert, right? So I'm going to touch on some automation using technology in really smart ways and how you can really have a big impact on your business. Um, and the first one I'm going to start with talking about is text messages and how you can really use text messages effectively in your business. It's a huge way to reach out to your database and have a big impact on your conversion rate. Um, I'm going to touch a little bit similar to what Luke talked about yesterday with calling and how he, he, his sales process. And he made a great, a lot of awesome points that I super agree with. And I'm going to kind of touch on those as well. Um, and so the first thing we'll start off with is automation, right? So automation will help you do heavy lifting, but it's not the entire job, right? Your process should, your, your goal should never be, to have automation do everything and have your business on autopilot. Um, you know, you, you have to still put in work in order to have results and automation can just help you do that. Right? So calling is King. You, know, you got to make sure you're um, picking up the phone, dialing leads, getting people on the phone, taking those applications and closing business. That's at the end of the day, always going to be your main contributing factor to whether or not you're successful in this business. Um, using automation is taking advantage of technology to help you keep in touch with people and do a lot of the heavy lifting, right? In a minute, we're going to talk about how following up with leads is, is a super arduous process, right? And is very tiring and difficult and how you can use automation to help you do that. And I consider automation to be a lot like a forklift, right? If you work at a warehouse moving heavy equipment, right? Obviously, you know, a forklift is a super important tool that allows you to do what you do but you still have to drive the forklift, right? It's not a, it's not a self automated driving thing. Like probably Amazon might have in their, in their warehouse, for example, right? You still have to drive the forklift and, and take advantage of that. And very much like a forklift, you have to be trained and make sure you understand how you're using it effectively and using it in the right way. Otherwise you're going to damage your property, damage your image, your brand and, and people's perception of you. Um, some of the stats I'm going to share are, Stats I found from researching our results um, from over 2,000 online leads um, inside of KLT CRM. So I'm going to have some screenshots of some of the conversion rates just to kind of talk about that part um, next. So um, automation will help you convert more business and really help you focus your time on who you can actually work with to get business, right? So here's some of the response rates um, in some of our different campaigns, anywhere from you know, 71%, which is definitely an outlier. That's a very high response rate um, down to our average of between 52 and, and 48%. So using automation helps you just get that initial contact 
so that you can focus your time on the people you can actually help. Um, so more contact attempts leads to more conversions, right? So um, very similar to what Luke talked about yesterday, right? Most people aren't going to contact on the first attempt. And I think it's at the sixth attempt is when you actually start having a reliable, fairly high amount of um, conversions. And so let's just look at a hypothetical situation where you're following up manually with your leads every day, not using any automation. Um, if your process for following up with leads is to call them one time, text them one time, and email them once a day, then the first day you have five leads come through your online marketing, whether it's through Facebook, YouTube, you know, however you're generating your business, um, you have to do five calls, text, and emails. Pretty easy. The next day it's 10, the next day 15, then 20, then 25, then 30. All of a sudden, within one week of you generating five leads a day, you're having to text 30 people, email 30 people, and call 30 people every day. And that number just continues to grow as you continue to do your outreach to, to reach the number of people you actually need in order to convert and, and have a big business and really make an impact on what you're doing. So using automation allows you to focus your effort on the two most important groups of people. Those who respond positively saying, yes, I'd love to get some more information. How can you help me? Can we talk on at Tuesday at three o'clock? And those who haven't responded yet. A no response to your automation is super valuable. It allows you to save your time and energy. You don't have to reach out to that person anymore. They've already told you they're not interested. They don't want your help right now. And that's fine. Let them sit in your database. And we're going to talk about how you can convert them into business down the road. But when it comes to automation, your initial goal is to get people to respond. You engage them on a level that is based on the response, obviously. So if they say they want help, then you help them. If they say they don't, then you don't, right? Or you can re-engage them as you like. And using automation really allows you to save your time by splitting that group into three people, right? You have people who haven't responded yet. You have people who say yes and want help and people who say no, and you don't have to worry about your time wasting there. So all of a sudden now your, your contact, if you're having a 50% response rate, half of your people are responding and you're going to know immediately yes or no, if that's worth your time to follow up with those people. In my experience, around 20% of responses are positive. So it allows you to really weed out like 20 to 30% of your entire lead database as people who say no, and you can save your time and energy that way. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is a message that we have inside of our automated campaigns that has a 25% response rate. So this message is personally responsible for 25% of the responses. So out of every four people that, that receive our automated messaging, one of those people is responding to this message. And it's super simple. And the message is this, hey, first name, however your token might look in your, in your CRM. This is how it looks in KLT CRM. Hey, first name, do you have a timeline in mind of when you're looking to buy? Right? What that message does is engages them without being pushy. Right? You're not talking about money. You're not talking about credit or down payment or how much they want to borrow. You're simply asking them, hey, when are you looking to buy? What's your timeline look for that? Right? This message has 25% response rate, and it really is giving you valuable, useful information in a really easy to, to digest way. Right? They're either going to respond, I'm not looking to buy right now, or one month, two months, six months, whatever that might be. And that lets you gauge how you need to handle that person. If someone replies to this message and says, I'm trying to buy in three months, then I know, okay, we really need to get moving because there's a lot of pieces that need to fall into place in order for this to happen in their three month timeline, if that's their timeline, right? So it engages in a way that doesn't feel pushy. You're not digging straight into the money situation, which is the scary part of being a loan officer when you're, when you're dealing with leads, right? Um, and it really gives you valuable information that you can use to help gauge how you need to take the next steps with them. Um, the next message we have is a 19% response rate, meaning about one out of five people are responding to this message. And it's my personal favorite. It's the one I end most of my campaigns with. And it's simply first name question mark. Right, what this does is um, it really, you know, first piece I'm going to talk about is that timing matters, right? I put this message last because it really just, number one, is going to engage a lot of responses, as we see by the response rate being almost 20%. And it's also going to, as soon as they see it, it's real short, they're going to read the other text messages that you've sent. So they're going to see your other messaging. 
They're going to remember who you are, what you're talking about. And people really, for some reason, and this might be like the lizard brain or neuro-linguistic programming, but people really feel an urge to respond and say either yes or no, right? Like, yes, this is Joe, but I'm not interested. Or yes, this is Joe. Oh, hey, Joe, you know, just wanted to make sure I touch base with you and see if you had any questions about, you know, what the next steps are to buying a home. And it really just opens up that door, again, in a not pushy way. And one thing that I love to, to use in all of my automation is really keeping it simple, right? Simpler is usually better, and it gives them a reason to respond back. If you send them a huge text message talking about how the home buying process works, that they need to get some documents together, that, you know, you help people who have XYZ credit scores, and you give them all this information, there's really no reason for them to respond back to you because you've already told them everything. In their own mind, they're going to disqualify or qualify themselves rather than letting you do that, right? So there are some benefits to having people disqualify themselves, obviously, if they're never going to be a good fit. But really, it's much better for you to engage them, and then you find out really quickly whether or not they're a good fit right now or if they need to go get some credit repair with, with my, my credit guy. And just like I said, you know, when Sam was doing his bit, like I personally use them. That's a huge piece in your business that credit repair leads do not mean failure. That does not mean a lack of money. It means you're building a pipeline for success down the road and you can see that money coming. So that's another big piece. But using the automation here really lets you engage them in a way that will engage and elicit a response from them keep it real simple and let you carry that conversation once they respond back. Cause really that's what it's all about is getting that initial response so that you can have an opportunity to create a rapport with them and, and talk over those next steps. Um, so that's the automation. Those are the two, my two favorite automated messaging I use within an automation campaign when a lead is inbound, meaning they just filled out a form online. They are asking for more information. They want to get some help. Those are the messages I'm going to make sure is in my campaign um, as far as text messages go. The next thing I'm going to talk about is what we call the refinance cash truck. Um, the refi cash truck message has generated millions of dollars of production for my clients and also people in the Legion as well. Um, and it's a super simple message that you can send out to your entire past client database. You can also send this message to all of your online leads you've generated. Because our research and our experience shows around 25% of online leads for a new home purchase or home buying um, focused ad are, are currently homeowners right now. So around a quarter of your leads that are sitting in your pipeline, maybe that haven't been touched in a while, they already own a home and would be a good fit for a refinance focused message. Um, you can also get with your realtor partners and say, hey, I would love to share this message with your database. And here's the benefit for you, right? Because you definitely have to kind of sell them on that idea. And the benefit to them is we're going to position this as a way for them to get cash out to do home improvements so that whenever you come back and sell the home in three to five years, the home is worth more money and you get more commission. You're helping your clients save money on their monthly payment, maybe letting them skip a payment, putting some money in their pocket, do home improvement that's going to increase your business and also just improve their image of you because you're helping them do this, right? So it's a great way for you to get with your realtor's database and, um, and push that out. And James, I'll make sure I put the, um, the, the, the slides in the group as well so you can have the texts um, for the messaging. So that's the um, refi cash truck and the message is super simple. Hey, two quick questions for you. When did you close on your house and what is the interest rate on your mortgage payment? A lot's changing right now and I might be able to save you some money every month or maybe even skip a payment. Hope you're awesome. Right? Keep it super simple. To the point, asking them only two things that there are things they should be able to answer really easily. And then, you know, at the end, I say, hope you're awesome. Right? Put your own word on that, right? If you have your own, however you talk, you want to put that message across the same way, right? They want to feel connected to you, especially if they've been your past client. They're probably already connected to you. They know how you talk. Change that up to fit you know, your verbiage or your mannerisms. Um, and this is the best way to engage your database to get more business, right? This is people who you've worked with two or three years ago and you're hitting them in a way that they probably haven't been talked about before. A lot of people are talking on social media about refinances, putting up interest rates are under 2% right now and, you know, pushing a lot of the messaging out, but the average person might not know exactly how that can benefit them, 
right? So what this does is allows you to engage them in a way that's really non-confrontational. Hey, two quick questions, you know, what's your payment right now? When did you close in your house? Or what's your interest rate? And when did you close in your house? And then you can go and educate them on the options and the benefits of what refinancing might be for them in their situation. And it's just a really great way to get some quick money into your pipeline because these are people that you've already connected with real low friction. They already know you and you can get some extra business that way through this message. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is what I call the zombie text. This is a way that I go through to engage the database for new clients when they come on to AdSmiths to help them get more business immediately. Um, it's really a great way to hit your database of people who haven't taken advantage of working with you yet, who haven't, um, purchased a home or maybe who have, right? Again, a no answer is very useful and that it allows you to focus your time and energy. So you're gonna find out who purchased quickly and remind them that they engaged you and asked you for help. Um, and this is best to use on leads who are around 75 or older, 75 days or older, not, not years, um, 75 days or older to remind them that they requested help, remind them that you exist, that you're there to help them. And also because you know, the average buy cycle of an online lead is four to nine months, right? So what this does is allows you to hit them right in the middle of that cycle, you know, between two to three months in they're they've probably already gone through their tire kicker phase, right? They probably already thought about the logistics of how this actually works. They're, they're doing some internal planning and, and stuff in their own on their own. And now is the best time for you to get back in there and re-engage them and say, Hey, let me help you on this process. So that way, You've gone through the mental thoughts of, I'm just thinking about this to now this is something you actually want. It's the best time to hit them again and make sure you're, um, you know, you're, you're taking advantage of that. And the zombie campaign text is like the simplest thing ever, right? The text is simply, are you still looking to buy a home? That's it, right? It's going to elicit a yes or no response because, again, we think about the timeline of four to nine months. This is hitting them at 75 or 90 days. That's three months into the timeline. They have been thinking about buying a home and now they're trying to figure out what the next step actually is, right? So they're gonna say, I already purchased, which gives you tons of valuable information. I am looking to purchase now. Okay, great, perfect. Let me get engaged with that person or I'm not looking to purchase. Okay, again, a good option because you can say, hey, why not? What changed in your status from now from 90 days ago? If they say they already purchased, that is the sad but still super useful option, right? Because that means that your database follow-up and your processes aren't strong enough that that person kept you in mind when they chose to purchase a home. And I had a campaign we sent this out on to around, I think it was maybe five or 600 prospects, and three people came back and said they already purchased, right? And that just really showed that our clients process for how he dealt with his database was not good. It was not useful because those clients, those three deals that literally he had in his bucket that left and now, you know, he can't take advantage of that anymore. Um, this message usually has around a 30 to 40% response rate on those older leads. I wouldn't usually send this out on anything 30 to 60 days. I would wait at least minimum 75 days. And um, you know, anyone who responds positively is going to be in a perfect position timing wise to purchase because we know the timeline of a lead again is four to nine months. They're three months in, they're going to be ready. They've made the mental decision to say, yes, let me do this. Now they're going to make the hard choices of what are the actual next steps to, to take advantage of that. Um, and so that's my presentation, you know, and, and I think just using automation again is it's not supposed to replace work, right? It never will. Calling leads is what closes business. But what this does is allows you to go from having to follow up with, you know, five leads every day on repeat until you're dealing with 65, 75, 80 calls a day until you're at like the six to eight contact point. And it allows you to really focus on people who want your help and respond positively. So if you're not using automation in your business, it's super easy to get started. Like just, you know, start, right? That's all you can do is, is start building out automation, using it, and, and you can tweak things as you go, right? Because every response you get is a, is a point of learning where you can, you know, even if they say no, I love those responses, right? Because it allows you to know, hey, I'm not going to focus my energy here. I'm going to focus on people who respond positively first and people who have not responded second. 
Yeah, it's awesome. That's awesome, man. De definitely. Thank you for sharing those three texts. You said, are you planning on sharing your slides into the sharing the deck into the group or yeah or yeah i'll put yeah i'll put the slides in the group and then i'll also put the text separately so you can copy and paste it versus having to retype it although definitely like put your own spin on things you know because the way you talk and the way i talk might be different yeah. um you know and just make it really you know really focused on on how you're on how you're doing your business but it's a it's a really huge piece that can change your workload in your business and also how effective your time is because you go from following up with, you know, 30% of your leads that are going to be a no right off the bat, whether you're talking to them on the phone or not, to following up with the 60% that are possible. Yeah, awesome. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for being here and sharing, sharing the text and what's working, what's working well for you and your clients. Really appreciate that. For sure. Hey, guys. Brian coming here from my garage. And I have people ask me all the time, does AdSmith bring results for your clients? And the answer is yes. As everything in business, the more you work, the better results you're going to see. And Lewis is a super hard worker. For example, in March of 2020, he had his best month ever. And I'll let him share a little bit about how AdSmiths has helped him do that. Thanks so much. Hi, my name is Lewis Shorenstein, and I'm from Primetime Mortgage. I've been in business for 16 years. And one of the best decisions that I've made as a mortgage loan originator is to put my marketing on autopilot with Brian Carpenter and AdSmiths. We have gone to the next level as a company over that last year, and I have allowed myself to put marketing on autopilot and concentrate on what I do best and what brings in the revenue, which is closing deals. If you are interested in bringing your business to the next level and you want to have a dynamic quality to attract realtor partners, the way to do it is with AdSmiths. Whether it's single property ads, YouTube ads, or any myriad of other things that he's gonna help you do to create revenue streams that you don't presently have, put your faith and your investment in Brian and AdSmiths and don't look back. You can reach me at 973-699-1983 and I'll be happy to share in detail exactly how Brian has helped to change the destiny of Primetime Mortgage. Thanks and have a wonderful day.